This is an introductory video on how to get started using Law Depot through the library. Uh, so you want to start at the library's website, portjefflibrary.org. Click on the Books and More tab and click on Research Databases. Uh, we have a shortcut menu up at the top here so you can jump right to the section that you're looking for or we also have an alphabetical list of all of our databases. Uh, so we're just going to take the shortcut and click on Law and Government right here. And then just click on the In Library and Home Use link at the bottom. In order to use Law Depot, you will have to create an account with them. It's very quick and easy to do so. Just click on the Create New Account link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, you'll enter your card number, you'll enter in um, your name, your email address, choose a password, just the basic information, and you'll be able to set up an account. Uh, so um, I'll just show you what that screen looks like. And click Next. And okay, actually, since we already created an account, it won't let me see that that screen. Uh, but it's just a really short form that you fill out and um, then you'll be able to log in. So we'll go ahead and log in here. Just enter in our password. And you can leave the little box that says remember me so that you don't have to keep logging in every time. Just go ahead and click log in and hopefully this should log us in. Okay, so here we are at the Law Depot screen. Uh, Law Depot is a great place to go to uh, create legal forms quickly and easily from home. Uh, you can do it for personal, for business. Uh, they have it for every state and province, as you can see. So I, I believe they're referring to Canada. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click more. Uh, you can watch a tutorial on how to use Law Depot. So if we click on that, it will take us to their, um, their video screen. And So I don't know if you can hear the sound there, but uh, they have a, um, a short introductory video on how to use uh, Law Depot. So let's go back to Law Depot. We'll get out of the introductory video here. As you can see, it gives you information on how to use uh, Law Depot. It's very easy to get started. So we'll go ahead and click Browse Documents. And let's say we're looking to create a, a lease agreement for an apartment. Um, Let's try something like that. So uh, they'll always show you what you recently were, were working on. Uh, you could choose from um, different categories, estate, uh, real estate, financial, business, family. Uh, you can choose everything. So let's say, let's try the real estate and let's say um, residential lease agreement. Maybe we're looking to uh, rent an apartment and we want to create a lease agreement. So we'll click on that. Okay, and you can choose what type of property uh, you're renting. Uh, so it, let's say it's an apartment. And it will walk you through uh, each piece of the lease. It will ask you about each part of it. So rental property is located in New York State. So let's click that. Yes, we'll just do a couple of these just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's say it's the most standard type of agreement. Uh, now we want to choose the lease term. Maybe it's month to month. And you can choose when the lease date starts. Click Save and Continue. And this is how it works. They'll just ask you these very simple questions. And at the end of it, it will generate a form for you that uh, you can um, save it. Uh, you can print it out. Um, you can download it or print it. Either way is, is fine. So this is how the it looks now. We didn't answer all of the questions, but you can just kind of get an idea of what it, of what it looks like. So Law Depot, after you answer all of those questions, it will put all the information in there for you and create this document. So you can change this information. You can go back and change it. You can customize this form so it fits your particular needs. But this is kind of what you'll see what it looks like with your personalized information in there. Um, so, uh, it also gives you a rental property checklist, which is nice, uh, the do's and don'ts, things that you have to, to look for when you're looking to, to rent. So that's also a handy little, um, extra. So maybe we're looking for, um, 
let's say a, a bill of sale. Maybe you have a, a used car that you're going to sell. So here we have the bill of sale page. Um, and you can see your progress bar up at the top here. It walks you through each part of the document creation process. So let's say we're selling a car. We'll click save and continue. And we're selling the car out of New York State. And you'll put in the kind of motor vehicle that you have. And you'll answer all the, the um, uh, detailed questions about the vehicle. And let's see if we can skip ahead to the print download screen. So again, this is a motor vehicle bill of sale without all the information put in, obviously, because we didn't finish the process. But this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you can see a really nice, neat, and tidy uh, document that Law Depot crafts for you, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see, it's a very simple layout. Here's your menu up at the top with all your documents. You can search the site. Let's say you're not sure what category it goes in, so maybe um, you wanted to create a promissory note. Okay, and see it pops right up. So we don't have to finish entering it. Um, it's telling us that the document has been upgraded since the last time we used it, so they've improved it, so that's good. We can get rid of that. And see, the sa uh, same screen applies. Here's our progress through the document creation process. We'll choose what the loan is used for. Maybe it's for um, a business. And the business in New York is in New York State. Um, let's say it's an individual lender. And again, you put in all the information, just answer each question one at a time. It's very, very simple. And let's just skip ahead to the print download screen just so you can see what that document looks like. So here they'll have uh, your customized document once you've input all your personalized information and you can see what it looks like. So they do all the hard work for you. Um, it's very, very easy. It's, it's really simple to use. It's, you can get used to this very quickly, um, to this, this layout, and uh, it's really, really handy. So you can easily create a, pretty much any type of legal document that you could possibly need from, from Law Depot. It's a really handy source, and uh, it's free through the library. So um, that about wraps it up for uh, our quick little rough guide introduction to Law Depot. If you have any questions about um, getting into Law Depot and, and using it, um, please feel free to send us uh, any questions that you have. You can email us at adref at porchflibrary.org. That's A-D-R-E-F at porchflibrary.org. And we will do our best to answer your questions as quickly as we can. Okay, so that's about it, and enjoy!